welcome to this tutorial about the quiz for VR or VR quiz in which we're going to explain how to make it work. First of all, you have to go to this website in GitHub and look for the Google VR SDK for Unity version 1.2.1. You have to download it from the Unity package here and then import it into your project. That will give you a folder called Google VR and some packages. Then you have to import our package, which is the VR quiz that has one scene. If you open the scene, you will see the following. You will see one main scene, game object, the render camera, the cardboard and the player. If you hit play, you will have a first animation in which the background is drawn and now we're going to explain what do we see at the left, at the center and at the bottom. Here we have a scoreboard in which the different players are going to appear during the gameplay. Here we can see different buttons that you can interact with in order to select the answers and in the center you have the main button that will take you to the test. The test um, has 15 seconds that can be changed also by script and you can select the different answers by selecting on the different buttons here uh, from the red to the green one. If you give an incorrect answer the score will be updated too. In this case they are asking for the volume of the cylinder so it's going to be pi r square. So we select it and now we'll see that we have a correct answer. In the case of the radio of our planet, it's approximately 6,370 kilometers. So let's select that like the correct answer. And we see that the solution is giving us a score of 1,500 points, which it are uh, well which is updated in the scoreboard as you can see here so in fact this scoreboard is dynamic and will change in function of the score of your player once we have seen how the package works let's go ahead and explain a little bit how the scripts are going to interact with the player and with the user first of all the cardboard and the player are just game objects that are needed and are imported from the Google VR so you don't you do not have to change them or edit them nevertheless if you go to the render camera clone here you will see that we are using that in order to create the curve menu you can see that we have a curve menu here and that is achieved in the curve UI canvas using this script that is included in the package Inside the Curve UI canvas, we have the scoreboard, which has a script. As you can see here, we have an option for reordering the, the, reordering the array. So for example, let's say that we want to change the scores of the players during the gameplay. So we hit play. Okay, and in this case, let's just adjust the different points. So we go to line and you, you can see that we have a text there and we're going to put this to uh, 3000 uh, if we go again to the scoreboard and we hit reorder array you will see that the array is going to be reordered and the players are going to change positions so this is really interesting because we have a dynamic scoreboard that you can edit in your in your project the next script is the one that is used in the quiz. So this one is a little bit more complicated and sophisticated. In fact, what uh, you can see here is that we have some text files that are being loaded from our computer. So in fact, if you go to the VR quiz um, folder inside resources, you will have the different texts files. Let's open the questions and the answers. Okay, so the basic structure 
of the text files are going to be one line per each question so the first question is going to be which is the which is the area of a triangle then we have a second question that is which is the volume of a cylinder okay and in fact when we go to the answers we have something similar we have answer one answer two answer three and you can see that we set the correct answer with the symbol of the dollar those questions are loaded into the different variables here as you can see so for example um, when we hit play we should see when we hit play and we go to this quiz okay now we'll see that the questions are loaded as you can see here the answers are loaded also and the ones that have the symbol of the dollar are the correct ones okay same thing happens with the sprites and the game objects the sprites are also selected into a text file where we can write the name of the sprites and that name it's also referred in the resources sprites triangle for example the game objects are also working in the same way so you can go ahead and open the objects text file and you will see that we have the known the cylinder and the earth and those game objects are loaded in the quiz in the game object 3d reference with the name and the game object 3d by known cylinder and earth so those are the game objects that appear whenever we select an answer and we get to the next question the script is going to check if there is a sprite in this case we have this sprite here but if there is not a sprite it's going to check if there is a game object and it's going to show the game object in this position the position is going to be the ref go and this is the basic things you need to know about how the scripts work in this package. If you have further questions, please contact us at michael.solaire.baby at gmail.com and we'll try to fix your problems or resolve your um, questions. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial. You can support our work and get discounts at patreon.com vr ir carver bodies.